Hi everyone, um, this is a video about a very important concept in the C++ programming language uh, in fact for any programming language which is uh, operator overloading so I'm going to use uh, my Quincy compiler here um, and I'm going to start with a very simple and short program by adding two objects uh, so um, so it's include IO stream, that's how we start. And using namespace, standard namespace. So let's add um, two numbers first. Um, so we take um, a variable of entry type, which is x, and assign a value of 4. And another variable y equals 3. So and another variable z and we add two variables so we get an output of the result is um, output of 7 that's the expected oops z and l okay so now if you compile let you save it first so now if you compile this program and we'll get an output of 7. Here's our output. Result 7. Great. Now, if we want to um, add two objects, let's create objects. Um, let's use struct for simplicity. Um, I'm delete this. Struct. Uh, let's name it object. So, We always put a semicolon at the end. Now, let's take two variables inside struct int x and int y, and we need another variable for the result to give the result in it. So um, now, in the main function, uh, if we create objects, let's create objects first. So int main. Now we create objects using the struct object. So our object is b1. And second object is let's say b2. And third is b3. We want to display the the result. Oh, I shouldn't be writing this first. Anyway, I'm gonna write it. So this is what I want to show you. So if we want to add two objects and keep it in the third object, so now that the compiler doesn't know how to add the object that I define here. This is my this is the object that I defined um, as a object. So uh, let's let's assign some values inside that object b2 3 okay now if we compile this the compiler gives us error so unsuccessful okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna overload the, the operator actually it sounds complicated but actually we have to define what the plus sign means here. So the compiler doesn't know how to add two objects that I defined. So we're going to define the plus sign first. So this is what we do. The plus sign returns a type which is an object. So we write object. Then this is the way you overload the operator, any operator. So object, and then plus sign, then constant, the name of the object as a reference, and any variable, let's say a, another constant, we have two variables here. So object reference, and then let's say b. Now in here, we're going to add 
we're going to take another object and in here we can add this to variables I mean I'm sorry two objects and then call this function in our main function passing the values that, that I put in inside that two objects as an argument. So we have to call this function right here. Or if you if I write plus sign in between b1 and b2, that's calling the function. Now to show the res result on the console, we actually we also have to define the the insertion operator too, and this is how we do do it. O stream reference operator and the insertion sign, the sign of the operator that we want to overload and then outstream reference then let's say OS as a variable const object name reference let's say value so this will return this will take the value and return it as output Now we have all we have to do is this will actually work, but I'm gonna call the function so that it makes sense to you. Um, let's call the function. Okay, let's edit. Uh, let's make it more interesting. Let's take user input. Place enter a number. number of value okay and then we're gonna we're gonna take please enter another number another enter another value Okay, I'm going to take the user input in the second object. Now I want to show the result in the console, which is B3. So um, I need to call the function again. Plus sign is actually calling the function like this. You can actually do b1 plus b2, or you can call the function. I'm doing this to make it more clear. Now, if I compile this, it should work. Let's see. Successful. Now it's asking for a number. Let's say 4. Another value. Let's say three so the result is seven perfect so this is how we over overload the operator